Hey y'all, thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. Today I want to do another uh, sink strainer pour. This time we will not be breaking the pour like we did in the last one. Um, it started looking so pretty when I did the last one, I hated to, 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 to break it, but it was what I'd said I was going to do, so I had to do it. So anyway, I um, had a couple of people even say they liked it better before I did that, which uh, it turned out. I don't think it turned out. I like the way it turned out. I was happy with it. I'll show you another picture uh, in case you have missed that video. But anyway, uh, all that uh, set aside, I want to do another one. Uh, and we are going to spin it. So we're going to do a, a sink strainer spin. So let's get right to it. So I have here a 12 by 12 canvas, two inch deep, and I've got it taped down to my little board, which my board is glued down to my cape turner. Uh, I'll pop a link, there'll be a link up um, uh, in another video where I really talked about this, uh, making this thing, uh, and not to use a board this thick. So, uh, if you want some more information on the board, either pop it in the, uh, or the spinner with the board on it, pop it in the questions be uh, comments below, or be sure and check out the video where we talk about that a little more in detail. So what I'm going to be using is, I'm going to start with uh, a real brown to kind of go around my edges, uh, my outer, outer parts, and to get my edges. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use a metallic rich espresso. I've used this in several and I'm just falling in love with that metallic espresso. I've got uh, territorial beige and I've got teddy bear tan and then for my splash of color here I have red rust. Uh, I saw some throw pillows the other day that had these colors in them and I thought oh I like those because y'all know I love 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 red. So, what I want to do first, moving on, is get my, um, my outer edges ready. And my reason for doing this is once this the paint starts coming out of my strainer, it'll start pushing that. I don't want to have to push so much paint that I lose my design. So I want to wanted to have this this perimeter around it to have something to hopefully uh, keep a bit of my design on there. <clears throat> so I'm going to start layering. I'm not so worried about the edges right now because we're gonna we'll get those one way or another. Something will either run off or we'll touch them up. <clears throat> I'm going to start with the teddy bear tan because this is going to shoot off into the brown first so I didn't want to use one of my darker colors. And I'm just filling up the, just a small amount down in the little reservoir here of my uh, sink strainer.
Oh dear, I picked up uh, something that wasn't supposed to be on there. I must eat tweezers. Uh, that's unfortunate, but hopefully it won't do too much damage. Something stuck to the bottom of my mixing cup. Okay, so now I'm going to let that continue to uh, sink on in there a little bit. And then we're going to remove it off over here to the side. Okay, I'm gonna uh, mute the sound because my, my little board here makes a lot of racket, but we're gonna start spinning now. Ah, oh guys, if y'all could see my face right now, I'm so happy. This may go on and tilt off. I don't really mind the brown. Uh, ooh, do I, do I, do I, do I, do What do I do? What would you do? Um, okay, one more spin. Ah, okay. Okay, that's all I'm going to do, folks. Wow, that is cool. Uh, man, as long as the paint doesn't keep pulling it off, this is going to be so awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm happy. And that was so easy. I had, oh, well, basically four colors and one for the outer edge. Didn't know if we'd need it or not, but it's it all went on over here and got our got our two inch edges really well um this color is gorgeous these colors i am so loving it and i'm not going to touch anything on it i am going to torch i see some bubbles bubbles are not our friend well they're not as bad in paint as it is in resin they're really not your friend in resin 
And you can also use a little heat gun as long as it don't blow too much heat to distort your your uh, what you got going on. Your pattern. Ah, whoops. Okay. Y'all, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you taking a, a look at my video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. And um, I'm going to, you know, I, again, please check out the other video where I talk about this thing because I'm going to have to move it off of here and set it aside because you want to clean, clean, clean this and your little cake turner really quickly because, uh, you know, the paint will all gunk up and then you have to pry it apart. Um, ask me huh ask me how i know that but uh thank you all for stopping by i appreciate it so much i look forward to your comments and your thumbs up likes and shares and i hope that you're all uh everything is going better in your area wherever you may be and so here from texas we're sending love and i'll see you next time